This is an instructional video discussing the use of On The Air CG Server. In the previous videos, we have seen how to create projects in the On The Air CG Designer application. We want to use them now in CG Server to play them out. When launching On The Air CG Server for the first time, you must first configure its preferences by selecting Preferences from the drop-down application menu. The General tab allows us to toggle the resumption of playback when On The Air CG Server starts. It will only play projects that were playing when you last quit on the AirCG server. Also, we can set the HTTP remote control name, port number, and password here. This is used to remotely control the playback of on the AirCG server from on the Air node, for example. We can also allow for the remote control of on the AirCG server using AppleScript. And we can publish all of the project items by selecting here. If you remember that with text items it could be seen as published, and thus shown as an item that could be modified remotely. If you enable this option, all items will be shown, not only the published ones. By selecting the Playback tab, we can choose our video output device. We can select the video output format, and choose the pixel format, and configure our audio output here. We can configure our live sources by selecting the tab and adding a source using the plus sign. Here we can name the source and select the video device that we are using for input. Note again that the name of the live sources set here must be identical to the name that you set in On The Air CG Designer. They can use a different source video, but the name has to be identical. These sources can be removed from the list by highlighting it and clicking the minus sign. We may add projects created in On The Air CG Designer by dragging and dropping the CG3 files onto the window or by pressing the plus sign at the bottom left corner of the interface. We use this to locate and select them in Finder. This window can be resized to make a longer playlist visible. You can also select multiple projects to open all of them at once. By selecting a project and clicking the minus sign, we can remove it from the list. Note that some items may show up a yellow attention sign if there are some warnings. For example, if the format of the project is different from the one in the output, or a red icon if there are critical issues such as a video file missing or a live input missing. With our projects added to the playlist and our preferences properly configured, we are ready for playout. Our output settings are summarized at the top of the interface. By choosing a project from the list that we would like to overlay, and clicking the play icon on the right, we are ready to start CG output. The green plus icon over the video thumbnail shows it is actively being played out. We may play out multiple projects simultaneously. We can pause the project for playout at a specific position, or to hold a certain image on the screen by clicking the pause icon. We can also stop the playout and remove the CG graphics from the output screen by clicking the stop icon. The timeline shows our current playback position and the duration of the project if there is any. If there is one item set to stay forever, the timeline will not show up and there will be no time displayed on the right of the timeline. If a project has a finite duration, you will be able to play it in the loop by clicking the checkbox here. And displayed beneath the playback icons is the date and time that the file was last modified. Note that you can make changes while a project is being played out in On The Air CG Server. This is done by opening On The Air CG Designer and saving it. As soon as it is saved, it will update automatically in On The Air CG Server. Note that the playback will resume to the beginning of the timeline, so you should do it at the appropriate moment. This concludes our tutorial about using On The Air CG Server.